Hi, these are the seats that I bought for this boat, which is a 17-foot Gelstrom um, Carlson um, speedboat imported from um, America. It's got a really good trailer. All the um, bushes and bearings and everything like that are all in pretty good nick. Tires are all in good nick. These sorts of things. And then looked after. Frame, trailer, these tyres. If you have a look inside the boat, it's missing some of the trim. I was going to replace it with Western Red Cedar and get rid of some of this white trim. It's got a nice wooden steering wheel. Um, good gauges, but you've got to get them working again. Uh, throttle and everything works. Um, all the, the steering um, has got to be pulled apart. Um, that's it down there. And basically, um, you could either replace it with cables for about 120 bucks. The boat itself is in pretty good nick. The hull itself is good. It's got good chines on it. Um, it's in good nick. Uh, front deck, not bad. You've got bollards just there, so you can run a bloody anchor out the front if you want. Your fuel tank loads there. Air scoop there. It's got a, a 100 litre um, aluminium uh, or stainless steel uh, fuel tank in the front with a bleed hole just there. That's its registration. It was owned by two um, Navy guys here in Canberra. Uh, I bought it as a, a bloody rebuild fix up in my own boat. Um, bottom line is I'm, I need some cash at the moment. So I'm selling it but uh, fixed up. In its day, this was a $17,000, $18,000 boat, and it still is if you know what you're doing. Um, the windscreen's still in good nick. It's smoke screen. Right? Um, basically, you figure out whether you want to do it. That's a rough idea. The floor's solid. You've got buoyancy at the back. Everything's OK. Um, the trailer hook is a good one. It's one that you can actually lock in the position. And that, and you've got a decent chain, or two decent chains. You've got to lock onto your fan. It's a good trailer hook, it's a good solid trailer. It would carry any 17 foot, bloody half cab or bloody whatever. But it's a nice boat. Unfortunately, it's got to go. I need the money. You've got good seats. They've come in at around about three and a half grand recommended retail price. I got them for a little bit less. But they're full leather, they're Recaros, they're padded. They make beautiful seats for the driver and passenger in this thing. You need about half a metre of bloody five marine five ply, some bloody stainless steel screws and bolts. Um, they slide backwards and forwards and I've also got um, proper marine swivels for the bases that are big enough to be so they'll swivel and, and point out the back. If you want to put a, a small fishing um, um, bait board just there where the motor is and then put either the seats either side uh, and with wood panelling this would come up really nice with a polish and a buddy bit of TLC. The motor has always been shut down uh, properly, the, the, the petrol's been bled out of the bloody fuel bowls um, and they've looked after it probably though two Navy guys so they the motor, not a problem, she'll probably start. I'd say that it's been, just from looking at it, it's in good nick. Um, at the end of the day, it needs a bit of TLC, but nothing that someone who's got a bit of brains with boating can't turn around and turn this into a bloody nice boat again, worth around about fourteen, fifteen, twelve thousand dollars $12,000, depending on it. I don't think you'd sell it if you build it up properly. Nice project boat. See you later.